Welcome to Rover YouTube channel. Today our topic is running sum. Then I am going to explain you how to get running sum for your Microsoft Access database. Actually this is very simple thing. You have to build small function to get running sum. Actually running sum is a very useful thing in a database. So here I am going to explain you how to get running sum for your Microsoft Access database. Okay, let's go to the video. To do this, first of all, I'm going to create a database. I'm going to name my database as running sum. I'll select desktop to save my database. Desktop is the saving location of my running some database. Then create. Yes, I created running some database. To get running some, basically I need a table. So I'm going to create a table. Then here I am going to name my table as TBL sample. Yeah. Here in my table, I want to keep ID column as it is, and its uh, ID column's data type is auto number. Then here the second column is just say name or description. I want to keep description column data type as text. Then the, third, then the third column is debit. I want to keep debit columns data type as currency and I want to set a default value for debit column. So it set its default value will zero. Then the last column or the fourth column is credit. Credit column data type is same as the debit column currency and for credit column also I have to set I'm going to set a default value to zero. Yes, I designed my sample table, then I can click on the view button. Yes, then my table is look like this now based on this table i want to create a query by selecting the selecting my table i'm going to click on the create tab and press query design here select your sample sample table and and all the design column to your query table columns. I added all the columns to my query. Then I want to add, I want to create new column for my query. So for this column, I'm going to take the running sum. So I want So I like to name my new column as balance. By right clicking you can choose zoom then it's easy to type. So this is the function we use to get running sum. Open bracket then select sum then again open bracket debit. So this is the column debit column of my table. This represents the debit column of my table minus credit. Then close the close this bracket. Then from our table name TBL sample. Yeah, table TBL sample. Then as I want to give a name, short name for my table. For short name, I use this function. 
underscore sample is the short name of my table where underscore id less than equal dbl sample id then close the bracket yeah that's it then press ok yeah now we created a new column called balance for this balance column we are going to calculate the running sum based on the debit and credit based on the debit and credit values just run the query now here we don't have any value then save your query as qry balance so this is the query name i like to give then just add few um, transactions just say sales therefore of sales column I want to add 50,000 and for the expense columns up with this shape water bill this expense is 15,000 yeah let's add another expense telephone so it is only 10,000 now debit and credit columns and descriptions are okay now I want to go to my query and check the uh, running balance for these transactions. Yeah, you, you can see uh, these two expenses, water and water bill and telephone expenses, are deducted from the sales value, means debit minus credit. So gradually, balance has been deducted based on the expense transactions. So this is very accurate method of calculating running sum so i think you can understand what i did here so if you have any questions please put a comment under the comment section in my video now i am going to end this video don't forget to subscribe for our youtube channel okay let's meet with another video the new video goodbye